have we become a nation of people on the take? Is it too easy now to stick your hand out and expect the government to pay for it? Well, it might be a bit too easy to avoid paying five million quid in tax, huh. just reflecting on it's your... It's down the back earlier. of the couch, mate. It's down the back of the couch. Yeah, well, oh, uh, well, just reflecting a little bit on what DWP does for people who make careless mm. mistakes with their benefits. Mm. Um, it's a lot more serious than I think what Nadine... Mm. Well, could, well, let's see, well yeah. let's see where he ends up. It's, we'll have but to it, wait for the results of an independent... Notoriously litigious Nadine Zahar, we? Sure, okay. Might have a thing or two to say about that. So but it's just interesting, the DWP approach to this as opposed to the HMRC approach to this, which okay. seems to be a bit bit more reasonable, I guess. Understood. Um, is it is it too easy for people to sit back, not do a lot, and earn not a huge amount less than if they went out and went to work every day? I think the drivers of more people, depending on the state, are just very evident. We've got an older population, we've got a sicker population, we've got more, more people out of work. If you are in work, if you're fit and able to work, we've got a very low uh, unemployment rate. So mm. most people who are able to are working and they're working pretty hard. Um, we've had a few big shifts in policy that have pushed the dependency ratio up. So we've got the tax-free allowance so more people can keep more of their earnings as they move into work, which I think everyone would say is a good thing. Mm. So the drivers of um, this increasing dependency ratio are pretty well known. The question is, what do we as a nation do about it? The biggest thing we can do is grow our way out of that, which I'm sure you'll come on to. Well, the, well yes, yes, and I'm, I'm rather glad you brought that up, because yeah. we had, did we not have a Prime Minister who wanted to grow our way out of things? And now we're just back to square one, aren't we? She did, what, she did say she wanted to, but did she? what kind of impact did she have on that? She had... The impacts that she had were to massively increase the cost of living for everyone, which I guess is the other big driver here. So if you want us to tackle this problem, reducing living costs is the one thing you could do. Uh, besides growing the economy, reducing uh, living costs is the fairest way to redistribute who's, who, gets, who gets what I, out. I get that, I get that. Now, my concern with this is that we have created a nation of people who are psychologically dependent on the state. And this would appear to suggest now that people are. They can't think for themselves. Do, or do you really think that's true? If you look at kind of the unemployment rate that we're seeing in this country being the lowest. That well, we, I, I, it was the lowest going into COVID. We've well, had I would COVID. argue what, what, I, what my concern would be with this would be, would be the younger generations coming up. And I speak for a lot of people my own age sure. in this. And I do feel, this is anecdotal, but I do yeah. feel as though a lot of people do expect a lot to be done for them and maybe having an income is one of those things i employ quite a lot of young people they work pretty hard for me i'm but, sure uh, they that, do that's probably because sure i make them do. but uh, <laughs> um I, I think you do have a few more people sticking around in education um you can see that in the statistics you do have a few more people leaving the labor force early because of their fears over covid we've got those statistics they're quite well documented but the bigger longer term drivers here are all long term they're all aging population we are getting sicker. And there was a, if you look at the Civitas report, which this is based on, um, dependency ratio came down because of austerity in the short term. The real question here, and I'd love your take on this, mm. has that pushed the dependency ratio up in the longer term? Because we are getting sicker as a result. We've just had, uh, I think the mm. half hour before was all about a &E yeah. crises going into the pandemic. We could have been better prepared. So, you know, sometimes you can make decisions that on, in the short term feel like they're really good decisions, you know, um, austerity, spending less money on the state. But actually, if people need that to, in order for them to progress, uh, learn more, be healthier, be fitter, be able to contribute more in the economy, which is what mm. the modern economy is based on, are we cutting off our nose to spite our face? I